the weather's awful. Um, it's, a, it's another another sunny day in paradise. So it's um, that's been great. The, uh, the the club have been really welcoming, and, and all the people behind the scenes have uh, have, have really uh, pulling out all the stops to help me be successful. I think. The, the club um, behind the scenes is, is, is really well organised. Every time I came down with the Phoenix, we, we, we had a really good experience and they looked after us tremendously well. Uh, they've got a lot, of, a lot of good sponsors and a lot of really good interest from the community, massive crowds. Um, so in terms of, of taking a role like this, it was, it was, it was a dream. It was really uh, a really positive move for me um, in, in sort of my stage of my career and, and also hopefully for the club as well. I'm getting out, watching a lot of players. Been down here a few times, and obviously watching the Nelson Suburbs boys have a, have a really good cup run, uh, which has been great for the region. As uh, good, good crowd yesterday at the, at the semi-final. Um, so yeah, it's been about been about players, uh, but also staff as well. Building a, building a, a decent um, support network. Um, so assistant coaches, goalkeeper coaches, sports science, physios, all the stuff that that sort of goes into a uh, or what we need for a, a really successful season to to really give the players the support that, that they need to, to be successful as well. So, um, yeah, it's been, been pretty, pretty non-stop. Yeah, this year it's, um, it's interesting because we've got, got some really good uh, sort of experienced players that have played in the National League for a number of years. Got some good young players coming through from, from the Nelson region as well. Um, so I think first and foremost, we want to be competitive. Um, it's been a, a tough place to come for teams uh, in, in the, the last two years for, for you know, every team that's come in. It's been, been a close game. Um, they've been close to playoffs, which is which is good. Um, so I'm just hoping now that we can add a little bit more quality around the squad and, and take that next step and, and really push for playoffs. Obviously, with with the Phoenix role, it, it wasn't necessarily about results. It was much more on the development side. And I think from a, a you know, if you look at it as a continuum, I'm, I'm sort of now edging towards the, the results orientated part of it um, because ultimately you, you want to win games and, and you know aim to win leagues and get into playoffs and, and things. But the uh, the development side is is still incredibly important. I mean. I've not met a player yet that, that doesn't want to improve and, and, and be the best they can be. So, yeah, that, there'll be a, a heavy emphasis on on sort of self development and learning and improvement. So, um, yeah, it's a bit bit of both. I think it'd be tough. Um, I mean, you never say never, obviously, but it'd be tough to make it a, a pro league in the short term. I think just based on on population. Um, you know, in, in every squad uh, throughout the country, there's some really good experienced players uh, and they've, they've got a good core of young players as well. So I think it'll take time, but I think there are clubs uh, that are striving towards that area. So, you know, you just look at the, the benches now, you can see sports science support and, and um, support coaches, whether it's goalkeepers or defensive coaches. So, you know, clubs like Team Wellington and, and Auckland have, have been doing those sorts of things well for, for a number of years. And, and that's certainly where I'm striving to push uh, Tasman is is to be much more of a, a professional outfit, um, and and as be as as professional as we can be without actually being professional. So, you know, training more, more intense, monitoring players' workloads, things like that. So, and most franchises are probably now doing those sorts of things. So, it, it is becoming much more professional. Uh, whether we'll make that jump to fully professional or not, uh, that that. That will be a tough, tough jump to make because it's a huge commitment financially, obviously. Um, but uh, it, it's progressing well, and I think you know that the results, particularly that Auckland have had in in the Club World Cup, show that uh, the level is not that far away. You know, we're, we're we're doing some good stuff. We've got some very good coaches in the country, um, and I think now with you know the whole of football plan starting to come to fruition, where you know the lads that are sort of 18, 19 have, have been in that system for a while. Um, and they're starting to play at National League level, which is really good for them. And hopefully we can keep, keep their progression going on and, and ultimately push them off, offshore into uh, bigger environments than, than we've got here. It's obviously disappointing from, from the game's point of view to have, have this sort of uh, turbulent time and, and you know, huge change is, is, is never that good in terms of, you know, it's, it's, it's been quite traumatic, I think, from, from a, a direction point of view. Um, but I think I think NZF now really need to, to take a, a, a strong stance in terms of leadership and, and really pointing everybody in the right direction. Uh, you know, you, you talk to anybody from grassroots to elite, and they want the best thing for the game here. And um, there's, there's some really good structures in place throughout the country. Some really good clubs in, in and around that are doing some good good work. Um, and now I think it's just from a leadership point of view to 
to really take the game to the next level and, and I think the ISPS Hand of Premiership is, is obviously the flagship and um, it, it's producing some, some decent players, players that can go and play into the All-Whites and, and even offshore into pro, pro environments. So um, yeah, I think now it's about just getting a bit more coordination throughout the game um, that will help keep the growth of the game going but also push it higher up as well. Obviously working full time in the pro game with, with some really, really talented young players um, and, and then on the on the flip side of that, you're working with some pros that are perhaps not in the first team sort of ranks, uh, and having to having to do all those challenges around um, them coming into a reserve team setup and playing with kids. Um, so yeah, you you kept on your toes pretty much every day. But um, yeah, it was, it was a great environment to work in. Uh, all the kids there were so in, enthusiastic and ambitious uh, and hardworking and, and really really good people. Um, so it was uh, yeah, I think it's. It was right for my uh, time in my career of, of where I was at as a coach, and, and also I think now moving into into the Tasman uh, setup, where it's obviously much more focused towards senior players, uh, be a good good test for me, and, and hopefully, you know, with my experiences at the Phoenix, then um, you know we'll be able to push a few of those old boys on as well. Uh, I think um, I think coaching is 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 one challenge that, that the sport has in terms of, of the, the quality of high end coaches. Um, there's a lot of great work going on at grassroots levels at, at clubs from the age of sort of four, five and six right the way up to sort of 12 and 13. And I think that the youth pathway, especially in the, the talent space, is, is actually quite a, a sticky area at the moment. So is it schools, is it clubs, is it academies? So where, where's it all sort of working? Um, and, and I think there needs to be some, some real um, real strong leadership from New Zealand football around coach education, but, but more so coach development. I think we do coach education quite well in terms of there's lots and lots of courses available. You can specialise as a junior coach or a senior coach, but I'm, I don't see too much actual development going on with these coaches. So they come to a course, they might get a certificate, they might not, and then they're not seen again for however long, and there's actually nobody working with these coaches. And I, I think that's probably an area that, that needs to happen to really upskill and develop our, our top end coaches. For, for me, uh, it's, it's to be competitive with, with the team, um, to, to really try and help some of these players uh, be the best that they can be and push themselves on. Um, and I think from a, a, a team's point of view and a, and a club, um, it, it's really playoffs. You know, we, we've, we've been close in a couple of years uh, previous, so you know, tidying up either at the back or at the top end of the pitch uh, with some, some decent additions, then um, yeah, I, I don't think there's any reason why we can't give the likes of Canterbury and Eastern Suburbs a, a really good run this year and, and try and nick one of those, uh, those playoff spots.